I'm the FARA PI for the Central Streetscapes for Plant Biosecurity and Risk Management Multiple Threats Project. Um, we all know the importance of trees for habitats, timber, carbon storage, recreation, well-being, etc. Um, obviously, this uh, program is linked to DEFRA, so the DEFRA 25-year environment plan and the tree health resilience strategy highlights the need for extensive tree planting over the next 20 to 25 years. Um, so there is a need to monitor the current and the future treescape from pest and disease um, as part of a digital environment. So we would hope to avoid historical issues such as Dutch elm disease and ash dieback with the, the latter having the potential to um, lead to a 90% loss of one of the UK's most common broadleaf species. So the first aspect of our project is uh, setting up a sentinel treescape sensor network with these tree talk sensors that are shown on the slide. And this is to act as a demonstrator uh, to monitor the health status of these individual trees. And the plan is to have clusters of these sensors over small areas. So we're not, we're, we're monitoring small areas of, a, of a, a number of trees. So a treescape rather than these individual trees are gonna to come together these sensor networks. Um, hence the sentinel treescape. And what we hope these will do with those, they'll act as an early warning system for the movement of current threats and also for new incursions. Essentially, we'll be looking at uh, deviations from a baseline health status readings that these sensors just continually tick along. And then if there is a deviation from a baseline that we'll, we'll look at through this project and then it'll create an alert to that. Uh, and then we can put in mit mitigation processes. Second aspect is we can't have these sensors everywhere across the UK from this demonstrator. So this demonstrator looks to set up clusters. So if we think like a weather station network, so we have a cluster that's like a weather station, then we move it to a cluster elsewhere and elsewhere across the UK. And then we, in other parts, to investigate the upscaling from these clusters and these sensor network using drone and satellite remote sensing and also some science observation. And the third aspect of the project is to use modeling, agent-based modeling, to understand this optimal network, this optimal sensor deployment, and the extrapolation also from these individual sensors across a wider environment. 